Here's the K Mashi power brick. The specific model is model K MP836. Its capacity stated here on the side is 15,000 milliamp hours. Basically it's a power brick to charge your mobile devices. It has a uh, out one and out two USB standard size. Out one is supposed to be one amp, out two two amp. I verified both of those ports behave the same and will supply darn near close to 2 amp output. I did a full charge of this brick. So we have the indicator showing here, full full charge on the indicator. Again, this is the uh, K Mashi 15,000 milliamp hour. It's quite big uh, just for comparison. That's a uh, Samsung Galaxy S6. Uh, it's pretty thick pretty bulky. So what I want to do today is test it using a um, capacity analyzer here and a um, dummy load here. Now on the dummy load I can select 1 amp or 2 amp. I'm going to prefer 1 amp in this case so that it's a uh, nominal draw. I'm going to apply some uh, cooling here because these resistors do get hot. So everything should be set correctly here. I'll plug this in. As you can see here, it is measuring the amps out and the milliamp hours out. We're at two. The potential, voltage potential is 4.8 volts at pretty much one amp. And what I'm gonna do now is uh, step away and let that do its thing until of course the low voltage cutoff on the brick the circuitry in the brick no longer outputs any current and then I will compare this number to the marked number here which is 15,000 milliamp hour it is 229 p.m. okay here we are it's 712 p.m. Quite a few hours later, uh, one status light has gone out in the battery pack, and we've taken out 4,889 milliamp hours. Okay, so the discharge of the 15,000 milliamp hour completed. Of course, this was found de energized, and as well, if you press the status button here this is now completely drained. So this is the 15,000 milliamp hour. Here I have another model um, made by the same manufacturer. It's the 10,000 milliamp hour model. So you can kind of see the difference there. Thickness is right about, well they're identical thickness, uh, footprint there. Uh, you can see the size difference. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, this is a fully charged model. I'm going to test this one as well, but if I press the power button there we have four blue LEDs, so this one's fully charged. Now when I plug this in, it will turn this on and it will begin discharging and adding to the milliamp hours out that came out of this one. So all we got to do is read this and this will give us what this supplied as far as an output. Let's go. 9,810. 9,810. This is a 15,000 milliamp hour pack. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour pack. So, <clears throat> one third less than its stated capacity. So let's see what this one will have. If it's the same ratio, um, it'll be one third less than this. So, you know, maybe about uh, 6,500 milliamp hour is all this one will put out, but we'll see. But having this only two-thirds of its rated capacity, I do not pass this particular um, power bank. I actually have another one, so I'm going to test another one. And if it's the same, I'm not going to bother with it. If it's different, then I'll update the video. Here now I'm going to reset. When I test this guy, hold the button here and you're going to see it reset. There we go. Okay, the 10,000 milliamp hour pack 
has fully discharged. You can see it's de-energized there, it turned off. So now I'm going to energize the battery tester by pulling it out of this one and putting this, putting it into this second 15,000 milliamp hour pack, which I have, and I will test as well. You can see it's fully charged. So just to recap, the 15,000 milliamp hour pack, the first one I tested, um, only discharged just shy of 10,000 milliamp hours. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour pack, so I would want as close to 10,000 milliamp hours output. So let's see. Six thousand three hundred and fifty. So six thousand three hundred and fifty milliamp hours came out of this ten thousand milliamp hour pack. Not good. So I'm going to test this other one here. This is a fifteen thousand milliamp hour. I will reset. Again, I will reset the reader. Here we are zero and I'm going to let this one burn through. If it's different then I'll update the video. If it's not then I'll close the video out for the review of these two battery packs.